We just had a 6.1 magnitude earthquake in the Aleutian Islands. It's a depth of about 17 kilometers, right in the central part, central to the uh, west of the Aleutian Arc, and 6.1, and we're going to see what uh, the shaking was. As you can see, this is the Kamchatka Peninsula, this is Alaska, and this is the Pacific Ring of Fire, the uh, northern part of the uh, Arc, with the uh, Pacific Fleet having the Arc there. This is Hawaii down here. So what it looks like. The fault lines, the USGS fault lines, stop here, unfortunately. But if you extend them, you can see that they probably had some shaking in uh, Kamchatka Peninsula, which is a peninsula filled with hundreds of volcanoes, as the Aleutian Arcs, again, are volcanic islands. Now, it doesn't say if this affected any of the volcanoes in the area, but that's not very good for for this type of a 6.1 magnitude earthquake, which probably shook most of these islands, okay, because they stopped, they stopped the frequency right here, as we can see, but it probably shook most of these islands, which are all volcanic islands. So one person reported feeling it. There was no tsunami, uh, but as we can see, it's uh, a very big earthquake. Okay, this is, this is the central part of the uh, Aleutian Arc, as we can see here, extending 3,000 kilometers from the Gulf of Alaska to the Kamchatka Peninsula, and it marks the region where the Pacific Plate subducts into the mantle beneath the North American Plate. The subduction is responsible for the generation of the Aleutian Islands and the deep offshore Aleutian Trench, the subduction zone, as we can see here. Now, we have had a number of um, mega thrust earthquake events there. The western mo post, uh, most Aleutian mega thrust quakes followed, okay, 8.7 the Rat Islands, and um, okay, we have had tremendous amount of big earthquakes there. East Aleutian Arc, Gulf of Alaska, crustal earthquakes occur as a result of transition transmitted deformation and stress associated with the west northwest convergence of the Pacific Plate, colliding colliding with a block of ocean, oceanic and continental material into the North American Plate. Now, we did have the big Denali Fault earthquake of 2002, rupturing a sequence of earthquakes that commenced in October 23rd with a 6.7 earthquake that, and a strike-slip strike earthquake culminating in the November 3rd, 7.9. So the 6.7 was a precursor to the 7.9 Denali earthquake, which started as a thrust earthquake along and then unrecognized fault, and continued with a large right lateral strip, strike slip event along the Denali and Tachunga fault. So it does give, this area obviously does give very big earthquakes, especially to Alaska. So all of you there, please be very careful. Thank you for your support.